<laughs> Don't look at me, whore. We both know what this is. It's love. Forever love. <laughs> Stan! Oh. <laughs> I didn't see you there. Sneaky. The sneaky boy is what you are. Francine was right about me, Klaus. The farther away from the family I am, the safer they'll be. There you are. They don't sound very safe, Stan. You'd better get in there. I want to, but I'll only make things worse with my bad decisions. <laughs> Look, Stan, everyone makes bad decisions, but it's a numbers game. Eventually, you're bound to make the right call. I am? Sure. Look at Nicolas Cage. He made many horrible movies. Snake Eyes, 8mm, Gone in 60 Seconds, Captain Corelli's Mandolin, Wind Talkers, Ghost Rider, Family Man, Weatherman, Wicker Man, Bangkok, Dangerous. But then he nailed it, Stan, with National Treasure 2, the greatest movie of all time. He did nail it. He nailed it so hard that he became a National Treasure. Two. My God. If Nicolas Cage can recover from his bad decisions and make a great one, so can I. That's the spirit. I'm going to save my family. This time, I'm going to make the right call. I don't want to die yet. I haven't experienced the disappointment of being in a monogamous sexual relationship. Help has arrived. It's okay. I let the bear in to kill the shark. They're natural enemies since the dawn of time. They're working in tandem! They're brothers in arms! Just a hiccup, don't worry. I'm Nick Cage in this mother. This time, I'll make the right call. I'm gonna electrocute him! Oh, Stan, I don't think... Don't worry, I'm on this. Next time, I'm bound to make the right call. You're killing us, Mr. S! Stop it! Stay calm, Jeff. I'll get us through this. You have to let <coughs> me <coughs> help <coughs> you. Dan! I know, honey. You believe in me again. No! You're making everything much, much worse! Now look me in the eyes. I'm going to tell you exactly what to do. You need to go out and get help. No more decisions or ideas. Go outside and get help, okay? Okay, I hear you. I really do. But I'm not going to do that, because I have a better idea. My old college javelin. Remember? I'll harpoon the bear, and the bear blood will distract the shark, and we can escape! Stan! Sorry about tranquilizing you, Stan. I, I wasn't sure who was doing the most damage down there. It's okay. You did the right thing, Buckle. You harpooned me. I told you to go out and get help. And you harpooned me. I'm so sorry, Francine. I just wanted to prove I'm good in a crisis. I failed. Stan, 99% of the time, there is no crisis. And you're a wonderful husband and father. But what about when there is one? It's the man's job to protect his family. And you can, honey, by getting the hell out of the way and doing nothing. Huh. Do nothing. Francine, we both know I'm not going to do that. 